morning YouTube. Out here with the uh, F-250. I mean, as you can see, let me show you what we're doing today. See all that brake dust? It's actually a chrome wheel below there. This caliper is locked up on me. It didn't completely lock up on me, but it's definitely dragging to the point where stop and go traffic is causing this to uh, actually start smoke. So I stopped, pulled over, had AAA toes. Big old girl back home. Now this set already popped off the uh, cover. It's got two big old notches in there. I just used a pry bar, just popped it right off. 21 mil for those. So what I'm gonna do before I even get this big girl up in the air, I'm gonna break the lug nuts loose and get to work on rebuilding the calipers. Now the auto parts store's got calipers for like 65 bucks for each side a piece, plus you know 45 hour core or whatever it is. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and rebuild them because the rebuild kits are only like four bucks and there's really nothing to a brake caliper. Uh, but I figured this might be something that'll help you guys out and show you guys how you can save some money and do it yourself. So like I said, before I actually get her up in the air, I'm going to go ahead and break all the lug nuts loose. Alright. Go around and do the other side the same way. Now we've broken loose. Vehicle's in park. We want to secure the truck. As you can see, I'm on a little incline here. We don't want her to move. Now, she does weigh 7,800 pounds. So, four ton jack. My normal floor jack's only a two and a half ton. And yes, while I'm not lifting the entire vehicle off the ground, so of course some of the weight's gonna be supported by the other wheels that are still on the ground, I figured why take chances? And let's face it, gave me an excuse to get to go to Harbor Freight and buy more tools. That's how I justified it to the boss. So once you get all of your 21 mil lug nuts off there, you're gonna need a 5 8 and a 10 mil, as well as a good size C clamp to get the seized caliper off. Get the wheel out the way. You wanna take this bolt out right here, just to give you a little bit of slack, that's 10 mil. Now we're gonna use our 5 8 one here, one here. Once you get those two bolts out the way, your caliper is going to be good and stuck since it was seized on there. What you're going to do is actually take your C-clamp and you want to compress these pistons back a, a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get my C-clamp in place. And I'm not going to tighten this down yet. I just want to get this in place. Because now what I need to do is I want to go ahead and pop the hood and take the master cylinder cap off so that this has some pressure, has somewhere to go. So now that I've undone the cap, I'll tighten this in a little bit. Now since this is not a four piston caliper, but just a two piston caliper, I can get away with this. What I'm doing here is, is I compress this entire piece. The only where, only place for any give to go is gonna be the piston, the force the piston back in a little. So I'm gonna do both top and bottom, making sure not to put the back end of it, of the C-clamp on anything that might possibly get harmed. I'm just going to go back and forth just a couple times. I'm going to get these pistons in, compressed in. Set here. See what my pads look like. See, it's cracked. That's not good. Same deal here. You can see the rotor and all is torn up, so I'll be getting new rotors on the way. New rotors, new pads. And what I can do in the meantime, though, is just go ahead and just put back in the pin here. I want to inspect the rubbers, make sure they're good. Get you back here so you can see. Put the rubbers on the pins. I wanna, I'm gonna be removing these pins. I wanna make sure the rubber's not torn. The rubber looks to be in decent condition. And uh, yeah, I'll be pulling the pins out and re-greasing them before I put them back in. <clears throat> now to take the rotor off, what I'll have to do is unbolt the bracket, as you can see from right there. Take the bracket out the way, rotor should just come right off for me. So now we'll wait on parts to arrive. <laughs> 